Hi everyone, this is Jamie back again with another review and I must say it's been a while so let's just get right to it. Um, one of the items that I ordered from Amazon is actually the um, the Echo Dot and I bought a, uh, a leather case for it as well. So what's the Echo Dot? Now the Echo Dot is the is the alternative or rather Amazon's version of uh, Apple Siri or Google's um, uh, what is that? What do you call it? Google Now? Yeah. So the Echo Dot is supposedly um, more interesting. Um, I'm sure you've seen some of the videos on YouTube. Um, there are lots of uh, people you know, reviewing uh, the Echo Dot and how and how small the footprint is compared to the original Echo. Um, it says here that explore skills including Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, and Fitbit. So it's supposed to be Fitbit, and I have a Fitbit, and I have an Echo. Oh, never mind. So let's go. Let's do this. Uh, so, unboxing. Just gonna remove the. Um, just gonna remove this. Uh, the echo dot. So, the echo dot. It comes with a um, charging cable. Let's put this aside. comes with the, of course, a, a charging adapter. I've got this problem about always wanting to buy a, a protective case for whether, whatever electrical gadget that I have. These smartphones, you know, could be very expensive, Bluetooth headphones. I always want to buy a protective case, but now, this is the um, Echo Dots protective case, and this is an original uh, product from Amazon. You can see the base; it's got some. It's got it's it's vented, so I think um, you can you, you can it can actually project the the sound a, a lot better. It's Amazon branded as well. Okay, let me just remove this thing. And I will, so you just drop it in like, like so, just like that. Hmm. No brainer. All right, so you can see that there's a line in here and then there is a uh, micro USB for charging. So I brought along today my Bluetooth speaker. So the Echo Dot actually has its own built, a built-in speaker, but the line-in is for you to connect it to, I think, higher-end uh, audio devices. Um, you can use the built-in audio. So let's just um, review that. I've got uh, my portable power bank. This is the OmniCharge Pro. Again, you can, um, if you go on YouTube, this is supposedly um, the most powerful power bank right now in the market. But I have my reservations. I think the Anchor, the Anchor Pro that I have, the power bank that I have, the 20,000 um, Ma battery, uh, the power bank, it, it, for some strange reason, it charges a lot faster than this one. Let me just power this up. Um, it's probably dead. Let me just charge this. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. So it's here that once I power this thing up, um, I should actually, um, I should actually go to the Amazon app. Making it strange now. Hello. Your Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay. 
Okay, so I switched on my Wi-Fi. This says um, Amazon Dash 97K. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay, so turn on your Wi-Fi on your uh, on your iOS. Go to the Amazon Alexa app. And just for your information and for anyone new that is tuning in right now, um, I am based in Singapore. It's a tiny red dot. Um, I'm not sure if anyone else is using the um, the uh, the Echo. But yeah, we'll see. So basically today the video is about using this Echo and whether it can be localized for Singapore's usage. So let's see. I have no idea why my Amazon Alexa app is taking such a long time. Okay, finally. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna try upstairs. Okay, guess what? I went upstairs and it had to do with the Wi-Fi. So anyway, it's all set up. And once you see this, um, immediately you can switch over to the Wi-Fi of the um, of the Echo, which is in this case is Amazon Dash 97. You've connected to Echo Dot. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Hey Alexa, do you know where you are now? I'm here and my head is in the cloud. Okay, it's responding. Um, let's see. So whenever you say, hey Alexa, this happens. So... Mm -hmm. Let's see, uh, let's just ask it. Hey Alexa, do you know where you are? Which part of the world I'm you- I'm here and my head is in the cloud. Okay, let me try it. Hey Alexa, do you know where, which part of the world you're in right now? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Hey Alexa, do you understand Singlish? Hmm. I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Do you know where Singapore is? Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Do you know where Singapore is? Hmm, I'm not sure what you meant by that question. So it's either Alexa doesn't understand my my accent or it just not very, it's not a very useful device here in Singapore or maybe I'm not just not asking the right questions maybe I should just go back uh, onto YouTube and find out exactly what kind of questions I should ask well it says here that it's integrated with Amazon Music um, hey Alexa can you play uh, Guns N' Roses? there's a station you might like 21 Pilots um, hey Alexa can you play Civil War from Guns N' Roses? Hey Alexa. Hey Alexa, stop. <laughs> hey Alexa, can you play Civil War from Guns N' Roses? I can't find the album Civil War by Guns N' Roses. Alexa, play Civil War from Guns N' Roses. I can't find the album Civil War by Guns N' Roses. Alexa, play a song from Guns N' Roses. Shuffling songs by Guns N' Roses. Hmm. Okay. And why is it not playing? Oh!
So this is very interesting. This is the volume up and down button. So you can see the, um, the white halo around the echo dot. So as I turn up the music, as soon as the halo completes, the dot is at its loudest. Okay, so it, so it works with Amazon Music. Alexa, stop. Alexa, where is Singapore? Singapore is a university city in Asia. It shares a border with Malaysia. Alexa, how much do you know about Singapore? Singapore, officially the Republic of Singapore, the island country off the southern tip of the Malay Peninsula, north of the equator, in Southeast Asia. Alexa, do you know you're in Singapore right now? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, what's my name? This device has only one account, Jamie's. Uh, Alexa, tell me some stuff you can do. Sorry, I didn't understand the question I heard. Alexa, what's Roja? Aliens in America is an American sitcom created by David Garishu and Moses Port that aired on the CW for one Alexa. season from 2000. Now the thing about this dot is quite interesting because um, as soon as you want Alexa to just stop talking, you just call her name Alexa and immediately she stops. Now the thing is um, obviously some of um, the words uh, that we use in Singapore isn't recognized by Alexa. Perhaps that's some kind of um, um, of, a, of, a, of a speech learning uh, algorithm that I could potentially explore further and maybe enhance its uh, vocabulary to understand uh, the Singaporean speech um, and say things like Alexa, where is the best chicken rice in Singapore? Hmm, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. Alexa, where can I go for supper now? Sorry, I can't find the answer to the question I heard. So it seems that um, Alexa can only uh, perform functions that tied to your Amazon account. So um, it's a little um, again, you know. I think I'll, I sh I sh I I should I should find some use for this uh, for the Echo Dot in in time to come. Uh, maybe I'm gonna release another video. Um, about more about the Alexa and how I've used it, how I've actually you know introduced it into my daily life. Perhaps, maybe I'm not sure. Um, but the one the one interesting thing about the Echo Dot is that I connected it to my upstairs Wi-Fi, which is a five is which is a which is on five gigahertz. So. Uh, and most of the time, the in fact, some of the even the newer devices, um, it can't actually um, connect to the to the for some strange reason it cannot connect to the five gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi band. But in this case, the Echo Dot uh, works very well, and it doesn't seem to have any lag. Um, that's good, and I like it, and I like the fact that it's pretty responsive, as you can see. Um, I think if I bring it upstairs in my room, I think it, I mean, the, the Wi-Fi connection is going to be even stronger. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, Alexa, connect my Fitbit to my account. Searching. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to your Alexa app. And uh, for something so small, the the sound reproduction is actually very very good. Um, if this is going to be inside my room, it's going to be extremely loud. Um, thank God I didn't go for the uh, for the taller version. Uh, apparently, it's got even better speakers. The Echo Dot is a very has a very small footprint. 
it has it has the exact same functions as the bigger echo um, if you like if you want something louder you can connect like a bluetooth uh, device uh, to the echo dot and wow man you can as long as you have a wi-fi connection you can actually use a alexa almost anywhere you can even connect it to your you know to your smartphone tether to your smartphone um if you're crazy about it you can even bring it bring alexa along. sorry you can even bring sorry i can't find the answer to the question i heard you can even bring this along for your car rides if you're feeling lonely if you want this to maybe uh, you know be your virtual companion you know for yeah for all your car rides or anywhere you go if you're you know oh wait hang on alexa tell me a joke why was the strawberry crying because it got in a jam <laughs> okay that was quite funny anyway so and that concludes my video on the echo dot Please click uh, subscribe for more videos uh, in the future. See ya. Bye-bye.